For years, the stability offered by a tall, well-built trail boot has come at a sacrifice of weight and sensitivity. With the Zodiac Plus GTX, Scarpa offers a modern interpretation of a backpacking and trekking boot that can deliver ample support in a lightweight and athletic package. More than 15% lighter than most traditional backpacking boots, it allows for fast yet confident movement in rugged terrain while carrying a big pack. It delivers the feel and flexibility of a low-cut trail shoe and the security of a full boot. A supple suede leather upper is built with Scarpa's innovative sock fit technology that integrates the boot's tongue into the construction of the upper, maximizing comfort by eliminating bunching and hot spots and providing a close to foot feel. A Gore-Tex membrane delivers waterproof and breathable protection on wet trails or during afternoon storms. Asymmetric to the toe lacing allows for an incredibly precise fit, while a rubber rand protects the boot against the accidental bumps and scuffs of the trail. The unique 4-density midsole offers incredible weight savings and increased flexibility over typical constructions without sacrificing cushioning or support. The entire boot is grounded with a Vibram outsole that balances the needs for both speed and stability in mountainous environments under heavy loads. Handmade in Italy, the Zodiac Plus GTX represents a new generation of backpacking boots that can handle the rigors of long treks with a lighter, more sensitive, and more forgiving platform. So these are the CLC slush boots. As the name implies, they're meant to go over your shoes. So when you're doing cement work or muddy work, you can slip these on real quick and then peel them off real fast, throw them in the back of your pickup or whatever. Let's put them on. Nice over boots. Some might call them galoshes. They fit right over top of your shoes. They're not made to wear without shoes, so you need to wear some type of shoes underneath. And when you're done on the dirty job site, you just kick them off, throw them to the side. Designed to tackle tough terrains, these Terrain Men's Hiking Boots from Ariat are the perfect choice for trekkers, adventurers, and anyone who loves the great outdoors. Built for the trail, these hiking and endurance boots for men don't sacrifice comfort or support, even in shifting weather conditions. The highly effective ATS technology is incorporated to offer stability and all-day comfort. Showcasing a tough, oiled, full-grain leather, these all-weather shoes for men have an undeniable quality and are built to last. The moisture wicking lining promotes optimum foot hygiene while the EVA midsole offers maximum shock absorption and cushioning. They offer superior grip without the lug mess of other boots and easily wipe clean. This model is not made anymore and you can see some of the things that I had qualms with were the very bell shape to it. It flopped around a lot on your leg, but it was really easy to get on and off. And as you can see, as it's still covered in grass, dirt and grime, that I still use these boots almost every other day, if not every day. And they see a ton of wear and tear as I just go on hikes with the kids, do yard work and just general mucking around the house. All the seams had stayed perfectly glued. None of the rubber is cracking. Nothing has delaminated from itself. I've got a lot of kicks and scuff marks on all these boots. We've seen a lot of hunting miles. And Experience out of the box comfort in this waterproof hiker. With durable leathers, a supportive footbed, and Vibram traction, all in a versatile package, you won't doubt why Moab stands for mother of all boots. What makes this product a smarter choice? Number 1. Performance suede leather and mesh. Number 2. Imported. Number 3. Synthetic sole. Number 4. M Select dry seals out water and lets moisture escape so you stay dry when you're on the move. Number 5. Performance suede leather and mesh upper. The, as I come around, these are the Dunlop Chesapeake waterproof boots. These are made in America and they are reported to be completely waterproof. As you can see, they're not super tall, but tall enough, I think, for most tasks. Uh, they do appear to be made pretty much completely of rubber and I assume are waterproof. 
Uh, as far as construction goes, uh, it's pretty good. You do see there is a little bit of flashing here. I'm actually going to go, I'm, going, I'm getting two pairs of boots this year. Uh, for early season, I like a slightly thinner boot because it's not as cold. So this is like their, I think it's six millimeter neoprene thickness here. A few things you'll notice right out of the box. There's a little lip right there that helps you. You put your foot on there for getting the boot off. So it helps you get the boot off. There's an extra protective lining right in here. The grip looks good. There is a cinch right here. You pull it tight and then flip that little clasp over. The rubber comes all the way up to here and then a little bit of neoprene.